we collaborate on a daily basis with the radiation oncology group to try to work on uh, developing how they can use PET-CT and integrate that better into their, into their daily practice. Since we have gotten the MCT flow here, we've uh, seen a huge increase in our collaboration with radiation oncology. The reason for that, I believe, is that we're able to create some uh, new images that weren't possible before the MCT flow. Modern PET CT is very important for improving the accuracy of radiation treatment. We uh, use it as a vital part of treatment for lung cancer patients, uh, for any GI uh, tumors involving the esophagus, the stomach, or the pancreas, or the liver. Uh, we also use it a lot for lymphoma patients. We've actually been working with the physicians so that we can better plan the patient's imaging procedure so that they get their PET-CT and their rad therapy scan all in the same workflow, all in the same day. With our system here at the university, we are providing the diagnostic scan and the treatment planning scan at the same time. We're able to do the entire process in one step without any potential error for patient registration and saving my patients from having to come back in for another appointment. In the past, when we used to do a whole body PET scan for melanoma, we used to image from top of the skull to bottom of the feet, but we had to do it in two segments. Today we can do it in a single run, and I can actually modify the imaging time for each portion of the body. And not only are we able to gate CTs, but we're able to put a pet with it that's gated as well. And they're able to use that to further assess the planning for their patients. With the new flow system in the Siemens PET CT, our diagnostic radiologists are able to focus with high definition on the area of interest, give me a very accurate picture of where the tumor is, at the same time that we're performing an entire body scan. And using the VIA software, we're able to place a treatment isocenter within the tumor. The new software and hardware that we have that comes with the, the Biograph MCT flow actually has a lot more capabilities in terms of reconstruction horsepower, data processing. So for our gated studies, our dynamic imaging, uh, those things take far less time than they did on, on previous generations of scanners. If I'm able to do a follow-up PET CT in the same position that they were treated, I can absolutely know for certain where the area was and I can see what the activity at a metabolic level is within the lesion. That allows me to know if the treatment's been successful. It allows me to know if uh, additional therapy is going to be necessary. And without good accurate PET CT, it's difficult to do radiation oncology properly. The fact that you've got radiology and radiation oncology working together in that way without the PET scanner actually being in the radiation oncology department actually makes it that much more incredible that we're able to make this integration and this uh, really a seamless transition between uh, radiology, diagnostic PET CT, and radiation oncology treatment planning and follow-up has been has been an amazing benefit of the Biograph MCT flow. It is really a revolutionary way of actually imaging and it is sometimes difficult to put into words exactly how much better it is.